Recently, local schools appealed to their communities for assistance in moving teaching and learning into the future. The Grays Harbor Community Foundation awarded these schools grants to support additional technology in the classrooms. These programs began during the 2012-2013 school year. This is their story. In public school we have some students who have these types of devices at home and we have many students who do not. Um, so that's really, really fun to be able to give access to everyone and um, give them some experience with these tools because the world they're growing up in, of course, is going to be filled with these types of things. It's, it's changed the classroom dynamics incredibly. I mean students now have the ability to gain an answer to any question they have with a few taps of their fingers. The kids themselves are really engaging and getting basically a twofold. The information we're teaching in science and the technology piece on how to use it. Students are better presenters because they have to. They have to, I mean they're they're teaching each other. They're no longer just writing on a worksheet. They're you know, using screen annotation software to speak what they're doing, and so to teach it. And they want to have those videos posted to the internet or shared during the class, and they want to work in groups on doing it. Because they have to present in front of their peers, the quality of their work definitely improves because they know they're accountable and they're going to be up in front of the room explaining their research to their friends. If there's an earthquake that day, we can actually go and look at pictures from around the world. It just happens instantly. It's up to date. They don't have to wait a couple years before they publish another book. And then their scores are getting better as we keep going, as they're doing it, because they're retaining the information more than they ever have. One of our kindergarten teachers was discussing the fact recently that her students are meeting standard quicker because of the technology that she's using to help them get what they need in their instruction. We've actually seen our MSP scores, or our statewide scores, go up about an average of about 8% here at the middle school. So those are great transitions in science. This class is, has gotten the highest score so far in their multiplication facts of any group I've had before, and I think it's definitely partly because of the iPads. With any of our students that are enabled to communicate verbally, the iPads have made a huge difference. It has given them that ability not only to communicate, but for us to also be able to see what they know. Because often, if there's no communication, you're not sure where that student's at. But when they can actually show you, yes, I know what this word means, that's huge. The kids are incredibly engaged in the work they do. Uh, when they're using this type of technology. Uh, it can take a really mundane task like practicing math facts and turn it into something they're incredibly interested in and incredibly motivated to do. As we know, when students are highly engaged, the learning increases, which we have seen that through our um, district assessments and state assessments. One thing that we were very pleasantly surprised about was that with our state assessment data, our students who were from low-income families in three out of the four grades outperformed the kids who were not from low-income families in the reading assessments. They do research, they write papers, projects, work in various apps that help in their various uh, subject or specialist areas. And that was what we wanted to do, is as much as possible be able to keep the critical thinking going with the students. Not just have apps that are what we call kill and drill for the classroom, but also to move more to project-based and higher order thinking. We have some students who might need some reteaching with the concept, others that are right where we would expect them to be. And then we have a, a good number, a fair number of students who really need enrichment types of mathematics. And so the teachers are able to tailor their instruction to whatever level the students need. And it also helps us monitor it because I can monitor as I walk around the room with my iPad what each individual student is doing and engage those that are struggling that don't want to necessarily raise their hand and say they have a problem. I can see it on my iPad. The kids now are thinking, wow, now we don't have to see people like the kids at Aberdeen at Miller but they got the one-to-one -one iPads. They were like, well, we're never going to get those and they're actually realizing that tech, they need technology and we're actually giving them a fair shot to compete with other schools, other districts, other students. 
Now, when I did my latest technology survey, the number one request from the teachers is more iPads in their classrooms. We haven't had one break yet. We haven't had one stolen. We haven't had any real issues with them. I couldn't imagine not having them now. You know, it would be, it'd be hard. I really don't know now if they took that cart and said, nope, it's got to go to another teacher. I don't know what I would do. I would be lost because I've just spent so much time making the kids want to learn. I mean, you have kids that they don't want to do anything, but you pull out an iPad and you give them the same exact work, but now it's on an iPad, and they will do it, and they will do it amazingly. One of the things that we do know is that we are training students for skills um, to be able to implement into jobs that don't even exist right now, and that the world is changing so quickly, and so we want to be able to have a broad brush of skills that we are teaching kids. How does that work with technology? Well, technology is continually changing. The future of Grays Harbor will rest on the shoulders of today's students. The Grays Harbor Community Foundation proudly supports the tools that make their future possible.